watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well today we are going to be taking a look at our new Roper knife. I'm excited to show this one. This one comes from American Buffalo Knife and Tool. They make the Roper knives and their slogan is there is a little cowboy in all of us. Really cool southwestern theme on, on the Roper knives. They have the 1065 carbon steel blade on this one. Uh, their warranty information. I'll allow you guys to pause that and read if you'd like. Cancer warning over here. And yeah, there we go. Website information. And the model number on this one is the RP0032YD. Now the RP stands for Roper, the YD Yellow Delrin. We've got PRC at the bottom there. And that means that this was made in the People's Republic of China. So yeah, it is a Chinese made knife. But I think it's pretty nice quality. Like the Roper knives a lot. The close length on this one is three and five eighths inches, and you can see we've got that creamy yellow Delrin handle. Now they made this, and I reviewed this. Uh, what they call tumbleweed. It was a, a white bone handle, identical to this, but did it have a tendency to have cracks in it? I had to buy actually two to get one without. You can see that the pins are really near the edge of the handle and you would have tendencies for the bone handled one to crack. Now they may be of they may have decided to make the Delrin because of that, I'm not sure, but in any case I'm really glad they did because now we have a handle material that's not going to crack like that and for a work knife that's really useful. And we want to treat it uh, with the utmost care and worry about cracking the handles. So with this one, now we've kind of got everything that the uh, original had without the concern of you know the handle kind of getting banged around so this is the Pecos tumbleweed and all the Pecos knives and the Roper knife ser series of knives it, they have these creamy yellow Delrin handles with the style shield here so this is just sort of a an addition to that series of knives the Pecos knives I actually have a a, a stockman with this uh, yellow Delrin from Roper and uh, a smaller lockback and I want to say one other. Oh, well, of course, the regular Pecos, which was the the uh, thumb-studded, uh, more modern, kind of modern traditional knife with the clip, uh, pocket clip on it. So one of uh, RJ's favorite knives. If you've ever seen that particular knife, he's shown that one quite a bit. But this is nice to have as an option. And you can see the color matching is very good in front to back. All the edges here are really nice and smooth. The pins are nice and well done. You can see that locking mechanism. It's well rounded off. Nothing sharp on the edginess of that. You've got brass liners and of course that stainless steel mechanism for the lockup. And uh, yeah, really nice. Roper shield there. Of course, it says Roper knives. And it's a lariat with the R logo there. Rope style R there. Again, in taking with the uh, Southwestern theme here, you can see the blade centeredness pretty good. No complaints there. And this is an easy to open knife. You really don't need the nail neck. You can just certainly pull that open. Very, very smooth opening and very easy to manipulate the lock to close it. You can see the action on that just sort of sucks itself down from that point. Locks up very nicely. No blade wobble or blade rock. Feels very good in the hand, very comfortable. No edginess on the inside of these liners. They all feel good there. Just a good fit and finish overall. Nothing, nothing edgy or rough very comfortable in the hand. You can see the four finger grip there and a good natural position for your thumb up at the top. Of course with the lock blade knife it gives you a lot of confidence for hard work use. But let's look at that drop point blade. It's got a hollow grind on it, satin finish. Of course these are 1065 carbon so they have that grayish tinge to them which I really like. There's a look at the blade edge. Beautifully done. Maybe just a touch heavy at the edge, at the tip there, more towards the tip, but not bad. 
And I've done a little bit of a paper cut test with this. I didn't want to use it too much for reasons I'll explain later. But yeah, I think that's pretty evenly ground. And looking forward to uh, letting you guys know about how why this is going to be a special knife. So let me get into that a little bit. But first, let's measure the blade here. Right shy of three inches, I'd call that two and seven eighths, and then got a cutting edge about two and five eighths. But as I was saying, this is going to be part of a giveaway that Slippy and Thrifty, that's me and Slippy, are going to be doing on June 17th at 10 a.m. Central Time and 4 p.m. UK Time. Now, June 17th is this coming Saturday. So that live is going to be taking place to celebrate my reaching 3,000 subs and for Slippy reaching 500 subs, sort of a double celebration because it happened pretty close to one another at the same time. So we thought we would kind of have a double celebration and collaborate on one giveaway. So we're going to be doing that again on Saturday, June 17th, 10 a.m. Central Time, 4 p.m. UK Time. And this is one of the knives that's going to be given away. This is actually, uh, I bought this in for uh, Matt for his U.S. giveaway. So this is one of two knives that he's going to be giving away. And I got to say, I really like it. And though this one won't be mine, I do intend to eventually get one of my own. Um, elbow here at the top. Very nice, not sharp at all, been rounded a little bit, so that's nice and smooth. Everything about this knife, just really good. And as much as I like the white uh, tumbleweed that they released before, which is a beautiful knife, this just makes more sense to me, and uh, it's one that I can use more regularly, again, because I won't have to worry about the handle cracking on me. So this is a definite uh, add to my uh, buy list. At some point, again, these are only $16.25, and I expect these should sell pretty well, I would imagine. Got this nice sodbuster style, that drop point blade, you got the locking mechanism, locks up really well, beautifully designed and shaped carbon steel blade. I mean, there's just not a whole lot not to like about this particular knife. It's just, it's got so many nice features to it, and it's in such a popular pattern. Uh, I hope that it's going to be a good seller for a Roper. I think it's a great knife. Definitely going to pick one up myself, like I say. But uh, I'm really, I'm jacked about this one. I'm really, really enthusiastic about this particular knife. Um, and I think at $16.25, that's a fantastic value. So two thumbs up for me for this one. This is a, this is a double thumbs up. Anybody who likes the Sodbuster pass pattern, uh, you know, owes it to themselves to check one of these out. You've got that old creamy yellow Delrange is such a classic style color uh, takes you back to uh, the 70s and so forth just a, a really classic design and then you get the lock back to in carbon blades I mean it's just it's a home run for me but uh, maybe you guys don't agree let me know in the comments but that's gonna do it for my review fellas make sure you like subscribe hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop again Make sure you check out the Slippy and Thrifty live show Saturday, June 17th at 10 a.m. Central Time, 4 p.m. UK Time. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.